Hey guys, what's up? Today's tutorial is going to be on a really, really neat application for really your desktop. Uh, it's a desktop replacement. It makes a 3D environment like a real desk. Objects can bump into each other. You can make piles with them. God damn it, aim's annoying. Every damn video I make goes off. Um, you can put things on the wall, photo frames, uh, a whole bunch of different things. As you can see, there's different things on here. Um, this isn't really recommended if you have a really uh, slow computer as it is. Um, since my computer is really fast usually, uh, it hasn't it hasn't affected my performance at all. But if your uh, if your computer's a little bit uh, on the slow side, or it doesn't have a ton of memory, or it's not really that fast, anything anything that makes your system slower can get annoying. So this is really really cool if you have a quick system. If your system isn't so fast you can try it out to see how the performance is. It doesn't really affect it much at all. Um, so let's get started. Um, first you're gonna go to the Bump Talk website which is gonna be the first link in the video description to the right and uh, you can look around you can take the feature tour and um, things like that. Productivity social desktop, there's um, Twitter, Facebook, basically anything you're going to need. Um, there's a lot of new uh, features and that's pretty much it. Um, to get this you can either uh, go through the Bump Top website through download, download now, blah blah blah, or you can just click the second link in the video description it'll take you right to this page and you just click download now and download it right to your desktop once you uh, download it to your desktop all you're going to have to do is no. sorry about that um, after you have it installed it will take you through a quick tutorial on how to do uh, the basics of bump, hop, bump top um, I, would, I would suggest doing that if it's your first time using it or if you just need a refresher um, first time I got it a couple a couple weeks ago for my computer um, my old computer broke um, I, it definitely helped me it definitely showed me the basics and what to do um, but I'm just going to show you some of the features that it might or may not show you um, I know one of the main features in this is the 3d environment so everything has a little bit of whip to it um, you can make things grow really really big see that's not a sticky note it's a piece of paper um, you can shrink them too as you can see when it got so big that it took up so much of the screen it actually pushed some of my desktops to the side or er, some of my icons over so say I took this and slam it into okay that's too big never mind <laughs> but if, if I take it and drag it through there it messes them up um, another really cool feature I like is the photo frames right here you uh, more add photo frame and then you select flicker whatever um, right here I have my photos and over here I have flicker now that feature right there was the zoom in picture thingamabob. I don't know the actual name but basically you double click on a picture and it zooms in on it for you to look at um, and then to get out of it you just uh, click on different parts of the screen. Another cool feature is if you uh, double click on the bump top uh, floor it will make bump top on top of everything else. Um, another thing if you have a dock and you dock it to the right, left, top, whatever um, I would suggest an auto hide feature for now. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not using a rocket dock. I'm using the uh, Dell dock, which is actually pretty nice. Um, some other cool features are if you double click anywhere, like a wall. See how it's a 3D room? Go double click on the walls and things so you can look at that. See? And then other cool features. Let's see. Uh, stack. So let's take a couple of these folders right here, throw them not so far. Alright, let's 
select all of these and then lasso them together. See so it says pile created via lasso and cross. Now this pile is one icon now basically. You, any anything you put in that pile will act as one icon. Now you can fan it out like this or whatever you want it and then just exit out and it goes back. Or you can grid it like that. Or you can just break the pile back to the way it was. You can do this with any icon you would like. Some other really cool features I'm not really going to go into detail with. Um, if you take a picture and drag it to this email icon, Facebook or Twitter, it will send that picture out to that client, um, to your account. Now, this can be useful for uh, sending emails if you have all the pictures on your desktop. You take them, drag them over, drag them over, drag them over, and it adds them to an email. Another really cool feature is these sticky notes. Um, it creates one automatically, but you can have up to two in the free version and unlimited in the paid for version. Um, I wouldn't suggest getting the paid for version. This application is really doesn't really give you more than like three or four extra features um, that aren't really needed even. Uh, to edit a sticky note, you just go like this. See, uh, I am making a video. Then write sticky note, and I think I have to grow it. See there, boom! I am making video. Shrink. Um, you can delete these. Delete. See. Um, you can completely customize these. Uh, this environment, more settings, and you just go to themes. You can choose the. Uh, the walls and the floor and you can use your windows background as the floor so you will check this right here and there we go there's my windows background as the floor you can make it any background you want um, if you guys really like this you can right click go to settings go to general and launch launch it at the stop start and um, you can do uh, different network things for updates. Uh, you can change the physical attributes, um, visuals. You can choose uh, different things depending on your graphics card. Um, right now, I just have mine at the defaults because I just installed it. Um, here's where you enter your pro key, blah blah blah, and then the bump top. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video. Um, make sure you go and download the bump top application from uh, the second link or go and look through the site on the first link of the right. Make sure you please subscribe by clicking the yellowish orange button to the right of this video. If you're in HD, it is below the video. Um, please make sure you rate it five stars and favorite it and show your friends this application if you think they would like this. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments below. Um, if you quick need uh, some help, send me an email through uh, YouTube and I will reply pretty quickly usually. As long as I'm on the computer I reply to them. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys need any suggestions for tutorials, please message me them. Do not put them in the comments. Comments are for comments and help. Um, if you just quick need something, just email me. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.